Space, Space, Space 17. 17. Het is een uh, zes maanden project uh, voor jonge kunstenaars met een focus op installatie, performance en video. En als overkoepelend thema heb ik gekozen voor uh, kunstenaars die zich uh, laten leiden door een bepaalde wereld waarin eigen regels gelden. En uh, dat kan bijvoorbeeld zijn de wereld van een videogame, de wereld van een subcultuur, een kantoor, een inrichting, een uh, gevangenis, een secte. Uh, maar bijvoorbeeld ook een droom. Elke kunstenaar krijgt zes dagen bouwtijd. En dan is het een window installation. Dus het uh, wordt vanaf de straat bekeken. De toeschouwer staat op dat moment in de uh, openbare ruimte. Uh, wat eigenlijk in dit hele concept past als de werkelijkheid. En heeft dan een inzicht in uh, een interpretatie van zo'n bepaalde eigen wereld. Space 17. Space 17. So I made this uh, fictive uh, textile shop and uh, I am hoping like people can look like oh what's going on here. Maybe if there are a few paintings only people that are interested in art would look but when it is like textile I also expect like uh, somebody with a dog or some kind of couple or people working around they would like look and see like oh well, what's what's going on and things are a little bit like strange also the images and uh, also the setup so i thought this could be the way how to communicate my images with public about six years ago i was working as a textile designer like practicum in a Dieseldorf in germany for seven a the textile company and it was like super commercial so i had to do what they told me And back then I thought like, yeah, I'm, I'm done with that. I want to do something free. And later I came back to textile patterns because I thought uh, I could use it very well. It's also like, uh, yeah, as I said, the painting is also textile. But if I paint, it's a little bit flat. And if, if I put it on textile, people can uh, wear it. I like to use the form of textile that, that you maybe already know because I, I like when it looks like some kind of normal clothes and only later you, you think yeah but uh, that's uh, not normal what is on it the the pattern and uh, also yeah there, there are these private uh, stuff like uh, about uh, maybe a bit of madness and suicide and this love problems but if i put it into ornament into uh, it it turns uh, that into kind of harmony so it's still not uh, so sad or painful when it is in ornament. It's not difficult to be artist here. You just, if you just want to do it, then you do it and it's super easy. And I think like if you would be in Czech Republic and you have to work like five days a week in some uh, bad job, then uh, you really want to do it if you, if you do it in your weekend time. <laughs> no, I think it's super hard there. This feels a little bit like a therapy.